Hi there, it's Scarlet Pete here and I'm continuing with my machine knitting series on how to do a perfect neckline on your jumpers. I've just knitted up a tiny little mock jumper here, so this is the front and the back and I'm going to show you how I join up the shoulders and how I put a neck band on a jumper. So first of all, there's a front and the round neck and the back. I've just put a little welt on just to make it look smart and my next video will be showing you how to make a little sleeve and add the sleeve to it but I've started it with a welt knitted marked on the sides where the sleeves are going to be with little markers I've marked where the neckline is there and there so this is the shoulders each side everything's gone onto waste yarn so we can join it up on the machine and do a really smart job first job is to put it the on machine and it's got to be the front sides that we want to have as the outside of the jumper that face each other so we've got to have that on this way and then we've got to turn it around and have it facing each other like that what we're going to do first is put on the shoulders and join the shoulders up so I've hooked on the first shoulder so we're only going to join one shoulder and we're going to leave the waist yarn on we don't need to get rid of that yet this is the back center neck and this is the second shoulder so we've got right sides together shoulders to shoulder and two sets of stitches on each needle and we're going to leave the waist yarn on across the back of the jumper but I'm going to take off this shoulder waist yarn here first that's the rest of that gone and now to save ends what I like to do is tie this onto the main yarn here and then we're going to knit across and we're going to cast off so by knitting this in and tying on that saves us an end to finish off there's the join and we're going to now put it through the carriage and we're going to have it on the main tension which was seven we've knitted one row across and there's the knot so hopefully we'll be able to cast off and we won't even see the knot I'm going to cast off now by transferring one stitch over and knitting it by hand I'll just show you that now so we pull out the stitch push off the stitch and have the stitch on the mach on the tool I'm going to transfer it behind the sinker hook and put it onto the needle so we have two stitches on the needle. As we put it behind the sinker hook that means we can't pull it in too tight. It will keep the width it was um, and then afterwards we can just carry on and do it in front of the sinker hook. So pull it out, push it back, put two on the needle, throw the yarn over, put it in the beak of the mouth and close it and latch it off. And if we're lucky, that knot won't be involved. Ta-da! That's that joined up now. Now it's time to create the neck band. So we've got this open shoulder here. We're not going to stitch that up yet. We need it open so we can do the neck. We pick up the side stitches on the side of the neck here look see that straight edge I've picked up six stitches there and then we're going to pick up all the yellow stitches all the way around the neck that are shaped and put those on we've now picked up one side of the neck the round shaping and the straight piece of the neck back up the round side and now to pick up the six stitches along the straight edge there and then we've got to pick up the back of the neck here the side the middle of the neck the side up the neck the back of the neck and there's the shoulder so now what we need to do and we've left it all on the waist yarn and we've not stretched it too much now we're going to put the yarn in and knit the welt on the tighter tension which was three and the first row is going to be uncomfortable to knit we're just knitting along the welt now 
So that's six rows at tension dial three. I'm going to do one at tension dial eight. That's the folding line. Back down to tension dial three and knit another six rows again. Now there are many ways to do the neckband, but this is just one of the choices you have. So now we've done the welt, six, one and six. We've now got to re-pick up that first row we first knitted. That's why we left the waist yarn on, because it helps us see where it was. So we're going to start at the side. We had six stitches at the side of the neck. Then we're going to do the curve of the neck. We now have the welt folded up so we can knit one row and we'll knit that quite loosely. We put that back to seven and we'll knit a loose row. We knitted that loosely so we're not going to make it tight for the cast off because we don't want this to be tight and not want to go around the baby's neck or whoever's neck or head. So what I might even do is a, a double, double cast off. So I'll show you what I mean. We transfer as usual. And what a double transfer is, you transfer it over to one and you knit that stitch twice with your hand, like I was showing with the cast off before. But actually this is still really, really loose, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do a nice, normal cast off that I showed you earlier. So we've cast off behind the sinker hooks to keep it nice and loose and not just pull it in. And we've left the last needle there with the stitch on. Now I'm not going to break the thread, the yarn because I don't like sewing in lots of ends. So we'll pull that stitch, let's pull this off first, and we'll keep that looped, um, a large loop, we'll pull it just like that. So now we're going to stitch the shoulders together on the machine, and then that loop will be put back onto the needles and then we'll knit so we won't have another end. There's the first shoulder side picked up. Now we're going to place the second shoulder on. We've got the loop stitch here to add on the side. Second shoulder is on, but make sure you've not twisted the jumper. Make sure it is still in reverse, upside down, inside out, whatever. But sometimes you can twist the jumper and then find out after you stitched it together, which is not very good. And now we're going to hook on that last loop onto the first stitch, knit one row across and cast off the shoulder. Before I knit across, I like to wind in my ends so they'll be stitched into the seam. So I just need to snip them and not stitch them in. So that'll just be snipped off there because it's wound in. This is the thread I'm going to use to stitch up and graft the neck and now to cast off the shoulder. All done. Pull the last thread through. Undo the waist yarn. There we have a perfectly beautiful welt on the neckline. We're going to graft the shoulder together now. We uh, Not the shoulder, the neck seam. You can't even see where the um, shoulder seams are joined together. Look, they're so good. And here we have our finished neckline. Needs steaming. That's the back. There's the front. Grafted shoulders. Grafted side, sorry, side seam. And I hope you find that helpful so you can do your own. If you hang around, the next video will be all about how to add those lovely sleeves. In the meantime, that's all it leaves us to do now is give the cat the waist yarn to play with. And we'll see you on the next video. Please like, subscribe and share. Watch out, here comes Tabitha the cat. Tabitha says, I don't feel like playing. There we are. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.